Hi Libra and welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well. This is a bonus reading because your August reading was the most popular. So I'm glad that resonated with a lot of you. Um, so let's have a look first of all at your energy, a little bit more with the Heaven and Earth Tarot for August. So I'm seeing a lot of things are going to happen for you, Libra. Um, now this could be more from the middle of the month onwards. I feel lots of things are going to change. You're going to overcome obstacles if you've had any obstacles recently in your life. Maybe around work. Some of you may just suddenly have lots of communication come in around some job opportunities. Some of you may want to move or travel during this month. Okay, so we've definitely got communication on the way. Um, passionate communication. So for some of you, this is love. And I'm seeing that here as well. A lot of water energy coming through. So someone who is quite romantic, dreamy sort of energy. This could be new love for some of you, and this is unexpected, I feel. Um, you're being guided towards this person. You're both being guided to meet at a particular time, moment in time, is what I'm hearing here. This card has a swan, so some of you, this is your twin flame. Some are very loyal, and this can be an apology as well with the Page of Cups here. This is someone you have held in your heart for a long time, for some of you, and this is unexpected. So we've got a lot of Cancer and Pisces, Scorpio. Wow, Libra. Um, okay, so three of cups, you're going to be happy with the sun as well. This is beautiful. A healing energy, reunion potentially. You're being guided to persevere. Um, you may have some options as well, Libra, because you've got the two of swords here showing a crossroads. So you're really being guided to just find your peace within in terms of which direction you go in. Go towards your happiness. Okay, soulmate energy here. Leo. So it could very well be quite soon, you know, in Leo season for some of you. Let's clarify this Knight of Cups. So this person could be um, in the legal profession or they're going through something at the moment, a separation. 
could be you as well, you're moving on from something. Um, the legal thing could be, you know, a home. And this person really wants to come visit you. So we've got water energy again, strongly coming through. And air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So yeah, there's definitely, there's a third party here. Um, who may still sort of be in their energy. They're kind of ending that cycle. Yeah, there's something in the way. Something that got in the way of your connection. This person has been checking you out online. I do feel there's an age gap here. They may communicate online. Wow, now that's three pages, so definitely communication, but I feel this person's very good with their words. Could be a fire sign, younger, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, they want success, they want to share something with you, they want to share how they feel. Some of you have known this is, this person is coming back into your life. So I do feel twin flames here. For some of you there's quite a big age gap. Um, 13 years, 14 years. Sixteen years, okay, take what resonates. So, okay, let's go a bit deeper now that we've got an energy here coming through. We'll look at your energy and then this person's energy. Wow, we got your energy at the bottom of the deck, Libra. So you're trying to focus on yourself, on your stability. Some of you may be doing some important work, I feel. So if you're twin flames, you're in mission, I'm getting here. You're needing to be strong and patient. We've got Leo energy again. Libra Taurus. Well, more cards than I had <laughs> realised it. So we've got that communication again. Definitely some communication coming your way. And I feel it's going to be positive. A victory here. For some of you, this is something work-related um, or something you've been working on. And you receive an accolade of some sort, maybe a promotion, maybe just some very positive comments. Okay, um, yeah, it's really something you've been working on for some time. You've um, had visions of this growing. I'm really getting writing coming through. Some of you, this is something you've been writing. You may be writers. Okay, now some of you have also been quite burdened by this connection, I feel. You've been trying to release it. You've been trying to look at where you're going in your future. Some of you, maybe in finances, um, have been a bit concerned a bit off balance in terms of your stability. Things haven't been working out for some of you, I feel. 
So you're being guided to make a decision, strongly coming through here. Okay, the universe is trying to intervene as well um, in this shift in your life for some of you. Looking at what's out there for you. Making a change, releasing this confusion. So you will feel better within, I feel. Um, now with judgment, you know, this is quite an important card with the Empress. So I do feel those of you who have a mission, your twin flames, you are being guided back together to do this, this work. So you're doing it already, I feel, and you're being guided to do it with this person your counterpart. This is a renewal of a connection. So we've got Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo and Scorpio. So let's see this person on your mind, their energy. Okay, I noticed we've got the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. We had that in the first spread. So this is that person, I feel. They're making a decision as well. They're tapping into their emotions. Trying to be strong during this time. You've both had this card, strength card. So I feel the Lion's Gate may be um, quite a powerful time for you both in terms of this change. Okay, so this person I feel is going through a breakup, or they've been through a breakup. That came out in the last spread, so I feel it's the same person. So they're healing right now, just trying to search deeply within for the answers. I feel you're not talking to this person. This is amazing, we've got four, uh, three fours. Four, 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 so angels are around this person right now, really trying to guide them forward towards their stability, commitment. We've got 11, 11, so you could be twin flames, as I said before. This person, I really feel, wants to reunite with you, three of cups. This person's really been working on themselves, going deeply within. This is what helps them, I feel, to move forward. They're sort of, they're realising things, is what I'm hearing. Like they've been through lessons and they're realising things um, from their life, what they've done. So they try to find balance and moderation, could be a Sagittarius. 
this is a divine connection. Um, you know, with these two actually above and below each other, this is definitely, you're both being divinely guided together. This person wants to communicate. They're, they're going to rush in and communicate when they have this like epiphany moment. It's really what I'm hearing here. Yeah, once they reach this alignment, and the same for you, and they're healed, that's when the time is right. So we've got air energy as well, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Let's see what, what's going on within this person with the well. Wow, so they, yeah, they definitely have moved on from an energy. Um, and this is sort of still in their energy. Okay, they think, they're also thinking about how they moved away from you. They want victory, so you've both had this word come out. They want victory with you. It's the same person. Um, they're thinking about someone from their past and how they feel about you. Um, we've got two sevens. Very spiritual connection. So this person, um, as they're thinking here, they think about their future, you know, how they're going to move forward, what they're going to do in their life, because they've had this change. They could be growing something already, but they think about how they could grow things with you, how faithful you are. and loyal and this person wants to see you um, they have regrets a lot of regrets over the past coming through reunion energy here again okay so this is yeah a divinely guided uh, union okay anything else for you Libra about this We've got that communication again that came out in the first spread. So you've definitely got a lot of things happening, as I said, this month. Some of you are doing very well financially. You've reached a level of feeling good in your energy, feeling enough. That's what I'm getting. It's taken you a long time. But you've you've got there. So here's the communication again coming your way. Um, we've got an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is someone who has been through a lot recently. They've cut some things out of their life. They've been guided back to you. This is beautiful because this is what they're being guided to do to reunite with you. There's a lot of love. The Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Wow. This is amazing, everyone. 
very powerful reading. So here's that regret. The person starts to feel over you. Wow, there's you again. They start thinking about you, this connection they could have had, how beautiful it was. They think, they start visualizing you and them together having a family. I really do feel your twin flames with, with these cards. This is like blowing my mind. All of these cards we've had are showing a divine union. The divine is orchestrating this. Okay, notice the angel here bringing down the sword of truth that you got here. So both of you finding clarity, communicating with each other. You know, this is union, commitment, marriage, a lot of passion between you both. Wow. Well, that's blown me away. <laughs> I don't know about you. Um, let us know in the comments. Let's get a Whispers of Love as well. So have faith, Libra. I hear that some of you have been very burdened and given up almost on this, but there's going to be a lot of transformations in the collective. Keep focusing on love, you know, so keep your vibration high. Stay in that vibration of compassionate, unconditional love with this person as well and um, practice compassion both these cards break down to a 6 24 15 so and both of these notice you know there's someone here and you're sort of reaching out with your hand you're accepting them coming in towards you but you want the truth Try and be compassionate, it won't be easy for them. Okay, let them sort of have their say. And we've got to choose love. So if you feel it within, you know, you know how you feel, you know this is the one. You've had, some of you have had a lot of positive memories with this person. Butterfly here for transformations. You've both changed. This is amazing. We've got 1221. So look that number up. Mirrored number. Twin flames. Both break down to a three. So we've had three, 33, 66. You might be seeing double, triple numbers as well um, as signs, but this is really showing me mirroring here, coming into alignment with this person. Okay, let's take a Lantern Oracle for advice. Wow, Libra, I'm blown away. <laughs> We've got 22 here, women supporting women. Okay, so some of you are being guided to reach out to people in your community, even your guides and ancestors for support. And we've got 33. I mean, you can't make this up. So we've had three, three, three. Have hope. 
That's the same message, have faith. Have faith. There is giving and receiving and receiving in giving. Yeah, so it's kind of like here, you know, letting someone in. Receiving and giving equally. That's what I feel the shift is going to be here. Fruit here for abundance. Some of you may have a family already. You could be from different cultures. This person. Wow, okay, lots of synchronicities there. So I feel some of you are also receiving signs and synchronicities around you. So look out for those. Let's just take a charm to finish. So we got a gift. Some of you may receive a gift from this person. You're also being guided to unlock your gifts within, your spiritual gifts. Trust the messages you receive. Okay, um, you will find the key within, the answers within. Some of you are closing a chapter that was very heavy and opening a new one. And for some of you, this person has the key to your heart. And they help you unlock a lot of feelings within that you've kept repressed. I just feel clarity is coming through here for a lot of you. That's beautiful, we got an angel as well. So angels are around you, they're around this person, as we had before, they're around you. So you're receiving signs at the moment from your angels. When you receive these numbers, that's how they communicate with you. Feathers, you could be seeing. Butterflies. Things in nature. Okay. Wow, Libra, that was a pretty powerful reading, I've got to say. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Please do comment if it resonates. Sending lots of love to you all, and I'll see you soon.